Today we're going to be talking about the Robinhood IPO and what you should know about the stock going forward. Let's get into the video. Hi everyone, my name is Zach and welcome back to Finance Bro. Before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you guys to please leave a comment on whether or not you traded Robinhood IPO and whether or not you are investing in it for the future. And then also consider leaving a like and subscribe as it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. But with all that out of the way, let's get straight into our video for today on ticker symbol HOOD or Robinhood. So here we are, it's Robinhood's IPO day. We didn't make any videos on this yet uh, because we wanted to wait until it IPO just in case, you know, it had a massive drop off because as you guys know Robinhood does have a lot of enemies especially in the retail space um, but here we are on CNBC.com and we do have a really cool article that details a lot of what happened today um, after that we're gonna go over some of the financials on it and then we're gonna give some quick technical analysis so if that sounds interesting to you make sure you stick around till the end of the video so here we go Robinhood falls in its public market debut closes more than 8% lower at $34.82 cents per share. Uh, so stock trading app Robinhood fell more 8%. Robinhood's opening price was actually 300, or not 300, 38 dollars per share, and it's tra trading under the ticker symbol um, Hood. Okay, so now we can get into the nitty gritty of the article, and we can actually go over the most important stuff that you guys need to know. Uh, so the company actually sold 52 million shares, raising close to two billion dollars. Co-founders Vlad Tenev and um, Baj Baju Bat. I don't know if I said his name correctly, each sold about $50 million worth of stock. Uh, I wouldn't take this as, you know, too bad of a sign. I would just say they probably wanted to take some profit uh, in order to have uh, some money. The company was last valued in the private markets in September at $11.7 billion, but obviously since they have had a great first quarter um, and a great year last year, uh, that number has definitely gone up. Unlike many recent IPOs, Robinhood was actually profitable last year, generating net income of about $7.45 million on net revenue of about $959 million in 2020 versus a loss of $107 million in revenue um, of $278 million in 2019. I um, mean, these numbers are growing at an insane rate, and we're going to go over that a little bit more in the um, rest of the video, uh, but these numbers are actually insane compared to uh, prior years. Robinhood is growing very, very fast. Obviously, rapid growth is a huge part of Robinhood, like I just said. Robinhood, which offers equity, um, actually cryptocurrency and options trading, as well as cash management accounts, uh, had 18 million clients of, as of March 2021, up to 7 point two million in 2020 an increase of 151 percent uh, the company estimates funded accounts reached about 22.5 million in the second quarter um, and I would just like to mention really quickly that we are not sponsored by Robinhood or anything to do this um, video on this stock. I just like to say that because um, a lot of people might get that twisted. We don't have an affiliate link or anything with Robinhood um, that you guys can actually use. So this is just a clear, you know, just opinion on the stock type video. We're also not financial advisors. Uh, but yeah, Robinhood estimates about 18 million retail clients and more than $80 billion in customer assets in the first quarter ballooned up to 22 point five million users and more than 100 billion dollars in the second quarter of 2021 pretty insane assets under custody have jumped to roughly 80 billion from 19.2 uh, billion last March and are expe expected to top 100 billion in the second quarter if they did that would be super insane uh, this is one thing that I really wanted to bring up uh, was that major brokerage accounts um, in the millions um, Robinhood is actually third uh, so they have 18 million compared to Fidelity, which is 36, and Schwab with 32. Um, they are bigger than E-Trade and Interactive Brokers. Uh, so very, very, very huge. Um, Robinhood finally goes public today, and it is, uh, you know, super good for those of you who wanted to get in on the action. Um, but they were actually down 8%. Now we can get into the title of this video, The Truth of Robinhood. We can actually see that despite its rapid growth in the past few years, uh, Robinhood does have some future risks, so let's go over those. Most notably, the Security and Exchange Commission is reviewing payment for order flow, which is where they make a majority of their money 
money um, or the money brokerage firms receiving um, or what they receive uh, for directing clients trades to market makers such as Citadel uh, the almighty Citadel uh, this controversial practice accounted for roughly 80% of Robin Hood's revenue now if anything went south in terms of payment for order flow that would you know pretty much tank the stock of robin hood and the app in general as well as apps all around um yeah, it would basically change the whole market uh which would be pre pretty insane uh, but the stock trading company collected a record 331 million dollars in payment for order flow um according to an sec filing so pretty pretty insane a lot of people speculate that that made them uh do the whole game stock debacle in january but let's not do any speculation on this channel. But basically, yeah, that is the truth about Robinhood. You have to be wary about the SEC uh, because the SEC do take these things uh, very seriously and that uh, accounts for 80% of Robinhood's revenue in the first quarter. Um, so let's just make sure that we take that into account. Um, but yeah, uh, this is actually a quote. We expect our revenue for the three months ending September, uh, September 30th, 2021 to be lower as compared to three months ending June 30th um, as a result of decreased level of trading activity relative to record highs in trading activity, particularly in cryptocurrencies. Although cryptocurrency is actually doing quite well at the moment, so we'll have to see um, how that goes. Um, but I'm sure they know that cryptocurrency trading has been down a lot. Finally, Robinhood also said it anticipates the growth rate of new clients will be lower in the third quarter of 2021, and that could be why Robinhood is down about 8% on the day. Okay, and now we can come here to Yahoo Finance to actually do a little bit of more digging. Right now, they are roughly valued at about $29 billion as terms of uh, earnings per share, negative 6.12. That's not exactly what we would like to see. If we come over here to financials, you can see on their income statement that in the qu first quarter of 2021, they did do $522 million. Uh, cost of revenue is only $41 uh, million, so that is very good. Gross profit is $481 million. Obviously, they have to pay a lot of people. Um, so they might not be profitable right now, but they were actually profitable last year. Um, if we take a look at their uh, latest balance sheet, you can actually see here that they do have total assets of about 15, um, uh, 15 billion uh, current, or in terms of total liabilities, they do have about um, $16 billion in total liabilities. Um, although their current assets are more than the current liabilities, and that is something I like to see. Um, but they do also have $16 billion in debt, uh, which is not too good of a position. So I don't really like where their balance sheet is at. Um, but in terms of, you know, their income statement, I do like uh, how much in or their revenue they have and the that their cost of revenue is very low. And finally, we can come here and do a little bit of technical analysis. Obviously, we only have a day of data to go um, on. But as you can see here, there was a huge spike of red at the end of the day, but we did end in the after hours up about 0.29%. Um, so we do have a bit of a support here at about 33.60. Um, if we go below that support, there's no telling how low this can go. But if we can break above a resistance of about $36, we can head all the way up to $38. And then the next resistance would be $40. Um, so yeah, just make sure that you guys are on the lookout. If it breaks below $33.60 tomorrow, I'd be a little bit concerned. If it goes up above $36.75, I would be um, pretty bullish on the stock. Uh, but we don't have that much to go over for technical analysis so that's all i can give you guys right now but yeah that's pretty much going to be it for the video what do you guys think about robin hood and its ipo did i miss anything do you guys have any questions let me know in the comment section below i'll definitely try to get back to everyone on the video but that's pretty much going to be it for today thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did enjoy please leave a like and subscribe and then also consider uh, turning on post notifications but my name is zach and i hope to see you in the next video